Okay, out here in New England, our days like this are numbered. The nice weather is surely coming to an end shortly, and there won't be many outdoor days like this left. So uh, before it storms today, um, I figured it'd be a good day to. There's other chores to do, but I figured I would uh, give the uh, Sentinel a little bath. The power supply RF chassis. I'm not touching or going near the high voltage chassis with any type of moisture or water or cleaner. And again, uh, the only way I uh, cleaned this was with water and uh, some Murphy's oil soap. No chemicals. And I figure while we're at it, we'll do the Motorola solid state mouse house chassis here. Swab it down and get that ready for some indoor activity at some point. And this was some sort of, uh, I would call it decking we picked up. It was a, like a pallet for a heavy piece of machinery or something, but I think I'm going to, I've washed it. Now I think I'm going to stain it with some oil stain and we'll use it to um, put our firewood on for the winter or the cold months coming up, I should say. Okay, I'll try to keep the wind noise down. Now that we're on our chassis cleaning binge, I may get the tuner. Here's our uh, external speaker and power circuit breaker, wiring, speaker wires, and plug are all clean. I'll hit this with the uh, comp I'll hit this with the compressed air and uh, we'll put it inside. Perhaps I didn't notice earlier, but this has three sets, uh, three three pairs of transistors, all dated 1964. That's one. That's two. And that's three. And there's even room for a spare, whatever that might be. And last but not least, we'll give the radio a, a quick bath. I really want to be careful around here. We'll just go with the uh, paintbrush and soap. Mainly, I want to get all the toxic mouse stuff off of there. Plates are closed for safety. RF amp on that tuning capacitor for the AM. I'll try to save this. Okay, now we'll go hit it with um, the compressed air. I'll show you the rear. Trying to block the wind is a front coming in shortly. Um, that mouse debris was so corrosive it actually pitted the uh, aluminum on the capacitor there. And we probably lost a couple of the original Motorola stamps on the tubes, but you can still see the Made in Japan on the, the FM stereo section and the date on this one here. But uh, it, it literally took the, uh, the gold right off the chassis, that, uh, the properties of that, uh, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we'll blow it out with some air and get it inside. Uh, again, they were in here, they chewed the string, so not much we can do there. We'll have to replace that. Okay, I still have sunshine here. I hear some thunder off in the distance. So maybe uh, maybe it's this one's gonna miss us, but uh, all right. Well, there you have it. I have the radio pretty much pretty much all dry till we take it fully apart and go through what we need to. We also had a chance to stain our. I don't know what you call it. Our our, our dock. It may be too good for storage of wood. I may use it on the uh, in the back of the house. Again, I hear the thunder off in the distance. I'm um, thinking I may want to just pop the bottom cover off. I'm not sure and let this air out a little bit. Actually, I can't remove the bottom cover of the um, radio chassis just yet because uh, you have to remove the preamp and all the knobs here. And I do notice some uh, mouse stuff still down sandwiched in behind the uh, front panel there. So maybe I will remove this um, 
the preamplifier section. Okay, here's our preamp section removed. You can see a little bit of corrosion, but this is the preamplifier. The knobs came off, and so did the the plate, but that's no big deal. And there's our remaining. We have to get out right next to the eye tube here. Out of there. Okay, with the cover of the radio removed, even more crud. Hopefully that coil is okay, it should be. Just corrosion, and we're going to hit this with the spray wash a little bit right there. I did not want to get this much into it today, but our preamp is pretty much intact. Um, and I was saying, I, I don't see much circuitry in here for a preamp, but yes, there are transistors. One, two, three. Now we're saying, I have a little more touch-up to do. I hear storms off in the distance, but we managed to get a coat of uh, stain on the, uh, the decking material here. So, uh, it's almost too good for stacking wood on. Maybe we'll make it part of the uh, outside uh, patio or something. We'll see. And one final close-up look of the underneath. Motorola branded capacitors. Even the electrolytic over there. Yourself from flying debris. 